In tonight's Penguins-Rangers game, it was the Rangers who would get on the board first. Lafreniere, all alone, forehand, backhand, and continuing his incredible breakout year, scores another pretty backhander, becoming a bit of a signature at this point for him. And so with his eighth of the year, the Rangers were up first. After that, though, Miller would get caught for holding, and the Penguins looked to answer. Nearing the tail end of that power play, you see Zahorna bump quick. Glove goes flying into the corner, and despite quick screaming that his glove is off, doesn't get the whistle, and so Hinostrosa, seeing this, shoots it glove side, and sure enough, the Penguins would score. Nylander in front would get the credit for this one, but even as a Penguins fan, I had to say, this doesn't seem right. I know currently there's only really a rule for the goalie's helmet, rule 9.6, which you can read here if you want, but there's no other mention about any other equipment, and I get why. They don't want to blow it dead because they don't want goalies throwing equipment to stop plays intentionally. But in this case, what's Quick supposed to do here? His glove is nowhere near him. A little discretion should be allowed to be used by the official. Anytime a helmet, blocker, or glove comes off, in my opinion, the play should be immediately blown dead. If you determine after the case that it was intentional, then call him for delay a game or unsportsmanlike. It's as simple as that. Player safety should come first. Something like this could absolutely shatter the human hand and ruin a career, which luckily in this case it didn't, even if unluckily it was a good goal. Well, it would have been. But the Rangers challenged, and not for goalie interference, which I'm not sure they would have been able to do anyway, but for offside. None of this mattered anyway, as this one was offside, and so this was actually not a goal. But before we move on, let me know your thoughts on this whole goalie equipment thing down below. Should play continue as it does currently, or should it be blown dead? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Now, as for the rest of the game, the second was dominated by the Rangers, as the Penguins were outshot and outplayed. And while the Rangers were the better team for the period, getting several chances, Jari stood tall, and so we head to the third and final period, where the Penguins got their chances, but going 0 for 5 on the power play doesn't help. Just 1 for 20 over their last 8. I mean, that's brutal considering the skill on this team. But it meant this one came down to the final moments. Empty net. It's on Crosby's stick and quick. Just getting a piece of it gets enough to secure the shutout and the Rangers take it 1 to nothing. A fun game, especially if you like a goalie showdown. A 37-year-old Jonathan Quick, 32 saves, gets his 60th shutout of his career, securing the dub as the Rangers continue a strong start to their season. And just quickly to all my friends down south, a happy Thanksgiving to you all. But that's it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.